We vividly remember the day back in 2012 when we found out that Disney deploys clouders of feral cats at most of their parks to work as mousers. It was, and still is, incredibly comical to us that Disney, a brand that is synonymous with a couple of rather famous mice, has a pervasive rodent problem. Somehow, we got it into our wily minds that we needed to meet Mickey Mouse and see what he thought of the situation. But at that point, I would never actually met a character. I had been to Disneyland several times, but I was admittedly a little apprehensive to interact with the characters. I didn't know what to say or do. It just seemed awkward to me. Whereas I had been to Disneyland and Walt Disney World over a dozen times and loved meeting characters as a child, I hadn't done so in years. At the time, I thought character meet and greets were for kids. Trust me, I don't think that anymore. But I was uncertain how things would go, so I decided we needed a prop to broach the topic with Mickey. Since we certainly couldn't bring a feral cat to our meet and greet, we went the symbolic route instead and opted for a mousetrap. Yes, we asked Mickey Mouse to sign an actual mousetrap. The interaction and our scheming that led up to it are among our favorite Disney memories of all time, and we can't wait to share the magic with you. The fun we had in this encounter led us to expand on the mousetrap theme and subsequent interactions with Mickey, and we'll show you our next two in this video. While seeking the magical wasn't even a wish on a dream at the time of the first two meet and greets you'll see, these memories are a huge part of what inspired us to start our blog earlier this year, along with this brand new video series, Will You Sign My? This exclusive series will highlight dozens and dozens of our most memorable and entertaining interactions with Disney characters. Of course, we want to share our experiences with you for your viewing pleasure, but we're also hoping they inspire you to make your own unique magical memories with Disney characters. If you're like we were and uncertain where to even begin, then check out our video on how to meet Disney characters, where we walk you through how to prepare to meet characters in Disney parks and resorts, how to converse with them when you do, and most importantly, how to make every interaction magical and memorable. We'll follow that up with another video in the new year covering the logistical side of meeting characters, the do's and don'ts, and tips and tricks. So please be certain to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already so you don't miss this exciting series and all that is to come. Now, let's get to the big cheese himself, Mickey and the Mousetrap. Eek! Even though it's beyond funny to look back on it now, we were a little anxious about our plan then. We didn't want to offend Mickey or anyone. We just wanted to have some fun with the irony of the park situation. So, we waited until as late as possible on the last night of our trip and set off to Mickey's Toontown in Disneyland with a brand new mousetrap in tow. Once there, we inspected the extent of the infestation. It seemed like everywhere we went, it was rampant in the little mouse's house. Funny how that works. I know! Finally, we got in line to meet the main mouse himself. We intentionally let others go in front of us as we wanted to be the last in the group to make certain there were no children present. We didn't want to inadvertently kill the magic for them. Thankfully, it worked, and I promise you there were no miners around. Another couple figured out what we were doing though, loved the idea, and decided to stay and watch the interaction. At last, it was time for me to meet Mickey for the first time, and I nervously dove in. Hello! Hey, Mickey. How are you? It's a little awkward. Would you mind signing this? It's not ours. <laughs> uh, Mickey, I have a, a, a marker. Would it be better on? Oh, that'd be better. Yeah. Thank you very much. You okay with that? Fighting that? All right. All right thank you, Mickey. On the odd side. Mickey has a sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> we promise we won't get any of your mouse friends with it. <laughs> I love his reaction so much. He was such a good sport about it. I have to say though, it looks like that video was shot in 1992, not 2012. Cell phone cameras really have improved over the past seven years. Wow. Yeah, they have. And Mickey's response was priceless. Yes, Mickey Mouse signed the mousetrap and did it with a smile on his face the whole time. What a swell guy. Our one-of-a-kind autographed mousetrap quickly became one of our favorite Disney souvenirs of all time, and that interaction inspired us to take a different tack when we visited Walt Disney World in 2015. There, 
we decided to take a mini version of Mousetrap the board game to meet the talking Mickey Mouse at the Town Square Theater in the Magic Kingdom. We figured it was the perfect size for some of his imperiled friends to play to help ease the stress of their situation. Since this Mickey could talk, we were super excited to see what he would say. And this time, we were decidedly less worried about offending anyone. We just wanted to see if he was game. There you are. Hello. Good to see you. You too. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you very much. Thank I was hoping you could actually make some signs for me. It's a little miniature mousetrap key, uh, keychain. No offense. <laughs> there you go, Mickey. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I have just the next group to the back? And the rest of the <laughs> um, I think the cat got his tongue on that one. <laughs> yeah, he didn't really respond to it at all. Perhaps he needed time to practice before he was ready for game time. That was probably it. His diction was impressive, though, and I loved that he started singing the Mickey Mouse Club March while signing it. What a little cutie. After this encounter we decided to take one more pass at the mousetrap concept, this time at the Tusker House character breakfast in Disney's Animal Kingdom. Here, we figured Adventure Mickey could handle the full-size version of the board game. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Put there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm looking to sign a copy of our favorite board game. It's a lot of fun. Oh, okay. Great catch. Thank you. Thank you. Ruh-roh. What? You lied to Mickey. You told him our favorite board game is Mousetrap. That's not true. What am I, six? Yeah, okay, that was a bit of a stretch, but it was probably my favorite when I was seven. I just didn't want him to have an existential crisis about the whole thing. And telling him it's our favorite helps that? Okay, I see your point. As penance, I think you're going to have to forgo Mickey-shaped foods for at least a week. What? But Mickey-shaped is my favorite food group. As well it should be. Anyway, just as Walt Disney said, it was all started by a mouse, and our original interaction with Mickey and the Mouse Trap in Disneyland, followed by our next two meet and greets with the mouse, inspired us to meet more and more Disney characters this year and personalize each of our experiences. We can't wait to share our favorite experiences over the coming months in our Will You Sign My series, and we promise, the upcoming videos are much better video and sound quality than these throwback character interactions from before we started Seeking the Magical. Please be certain to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a thing, and hit that bell icon to be notified when we post our next video. It's only a few short days away. Also, we'd love if you give this video a like to let us know you want more original character interactions like this. Finally, we invite you to follow us on Instagram at Seeking the Magical as we'll be hosting giveaways with some of our favorite signed items from this series. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, remember to hug your loved ones, cherish the memories, and always continue seeking the magical. <laughs>